Dick LeClaire. Uh, my wife and I own Double L Farm in Boonville, New York. We've been raising Highlands since approximately 1986. Uh, we bought our first ones basically uh, just because. I saw them one day, I came home with them, and I bought five, and my wife didn't even know I was going to buy them. Uh, that's how we got started in them, and we were just going to have them for pets. And then the more I studied Highlands, the more I realized the quality of beef that they produce, and I, we decided that we wanted to go into it a little bit more. It was, seriously, it, was, it, it wasn't a draw. It was something that I saw somewhere, and I thought they were pretty. That's all. I thought we'd have five, six of them, and that was it. Uh, never intended to show Highlands when I bought them, but as we became more involved with the association, one of my friends said, bring one to a show out in Geneseo, New York. And I didn't have a clue. I didn't like, I didn't know anything about showing. And believe it or not, I tried to dry the heifer with my wife's hair dryer. It did not work. So that's a very memorable event for me. I would like to tell any future breeders to look at what you're buying and buy good animals to begin with. Do not buy discounted animals on the internet. I, you travel farm to farm, go to shows, look at what's there and buy good purebreds. If you only want beef, still buy good, sound purebred animals. You'll be much happier with the quality and the, and the production you get uh, in the long run for your beef animal. Anything you would do differently? Yes, just what I said. I wouldn't buy just five Highlands that I didn't know anything about. I would research them. I would make sure of what I'm getting. When I bought my first five Highlands, at that time there was no DNA testing. Come to find out the man had six or seven bulls and he had no clue. And don't do that. Find out what you're buying. Know what you're buying. Buy from reputable breeders. It's been a fun time. I'm getting older and I'm cutting back. At one time I had 80 animals. I'm back down. I'm down now to about 30. Uh, and as I get older, I'm just cutting back on them. Still love the animals. I think they're great. They produce fantastic beef. And I sincerely hope I'm very happy here at Denver this year to see so many new breeders. And, and like I said, I think the breed's got a great future. I really do. Uh, I think the beef business has, has improved tremendously from when I started. There's actually a market for Highland beef. When I started, there was no market for Highland beef.